Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Alex Mugai. And I'm William Mugai. Today is Thursday, April 6th. And we're here with your morning announcements. Elk Grove Civic Summer is hosting a two-week seminar course about the local community from June 20th to July 1st, and a three-week internship with local public agencies such as the Fire Department, Communications, and Public Affairs from July 11th to July 29th. This is only for current sophomores and juniors. Applications are due April 17th, and for more information, please check your Synergy email. COHS is holding its first Unity Day since COVID. Unity Day is a student government-run program in which students with different backgrounds come together in the, with the intention of creating school-wide unity. In order to be a part of Unity Day, you'll need to drop by the leadership room to pick up a permission slip. The due date is tomorrow. On Monday, April 10th, you will get a Synergy email letting you know if you've been selected to participate. The football program is looking for student managers and statisticians for next year's football season. Interviews will be conducted April 12th if, in if you're interested. Please visit Coast Billings Room HG5 for an application and more details. Now let's pass it on over to Damon and Angelina for In the News. Good morning, I'm Angelina Jordy. And I'm Damon Ramos, and this is your In the News update. It has recently been found that, for over 20 years, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has accepted luxury trips from a major DOP donor, Harlan Crow. These trips were never reported on Thomas's financial disclosures, violating a law passed after Watergate requiring justices, judges, members of Congress, and federal officials to disclose most, most gifts. Crow's gifts to Thomas have no known precedent in the modern history of the U.S. Supreme Court. Last week, hundreds of protesters packed the Tennessee State Capitol, calling for the Republican-led State House to pass gun control measures in response to the Nashville school shooting that resulted in the deaths of six people. Three Democratic members from the GOP-dominant Tennessee House, Jones, Johnson, and Pearson, joined the protesters approaching the front of the House chamber with the bullhorn and cheered on the crowd. Tennessee Republican lawmakers took the first steps on Monday to expel these three from the House by stripping them of their committee assignments and saying that there are more punishments on the way. Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill on Monday eliminating licensing requirements for Florida residents to carry a concealed firearm in most places. The bill allows state residents to carry a gun without a permit, training, or background checks. The law takes effect on July 1st. Democrats have scored a major off-year election victory in Wisconsin, winning the state's open Supreme Court seat and flipping control of the court to liberals for the first time in 15 years. This costed them $42 million, shattering the previous national record for a state Supreme Court election. Milwaukee County Judge Janet Protasevich won the hotly contested race for the Wisconsin Supreme Court, defeating former state Supreme Court Justice Dan Kelly. The win by Protasevich comes at a pivotal time for the court, with, justice, with justices all but certain to hear a challenge to Wisconsin's pre-Civil War abortion ban, and with the liberal majority are likely cons to consider a lawsuit that would overturn Wisconsin's Republican-drawn gerrymander legislative maps. That's all the news we have for you this week, Wolfpack. I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm Damon Ramos. Back to the Anchors. Hey guys. The Coding and Robotics Pathway is holding a fundraiser during both lunches until April 14th. You'll be able to request a photo to be 3D printed. A small one will cost $3 and a large one will cost $5. Every Wednesday during pause, there will be a peer tutoring for all subjects in the cafeteria. If you want to attend, you will have to ask your Advo teacher for a pause pass. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Malika Mugai. And I'm William Mua. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Army, Army Day, Day Wolfpack. Wolf pack.